Okay, okay. Hi, Vania. Vamos a esperar a los demás. Perfect. We only have Ivania today, but it's okay. Okay, let me <clears throat> share my screen. Nicely. Here we are. Okay. <clears throat> Welcome, girls, to this new class. Um, hi, Vania, Sandra. Hoy le gané, Sandra. <laughs> okay. Buenas noches, buenas noches. Eh, espero que hayan tenido una, un día muy productivo, eh, que podamos empezar con todo. Esta última clase de la semana. Ok, y luego pues ya mañana a disfrutar el fin de semana largo. Ok, let's get started. Aún no hay, no hay muchos conectados. Yo creo que quieren sentir más larga la, la vacación, right? Ya, ya hoy jueves ya no se siente lo mismo. Que el lunes ya venimos cansados de la semana. <laughs> okay, perfect. Um, we were talking about um, food flavors. Um, we were talking about how often these, these questions, right? Um, do you ever, for example, do you ever? And the questions. Um, also, we were studying about um, adverbs of frequency. Um, for example, hardly ever, sometimes, never, uh, always, and all that stuff. Okay. And yesterday, we were talking about sports, right? Sports. Um, let's see. Seasons, fall, winter, spring, and today we will be talking about um, sports um, as well, but with WH questions. So let's get started. Aquí hay un video um, y tenemos una conversación acá, así que prestemos atención a esto. And... Let's see here. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to ask and answer simple present WH questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. So, Justin. What do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Hmm. Hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. Do you play sports in a real-life setting? So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Hmm. Hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. Okay, perfect. 
We have a conversation here. Um, let's see. I love sports. Amo los deportes. Entonces, eh, Lauren le pregunta, What do you do in your free time? ¿Qué? Remember esta palabrita, ¿qué? ¿Qué haces en tu tiempo libre? In your free time. Eh, Justin le dice, Bien, amo los deportes. I love sports. Really? ¿En serio? Dice Lauren. ¿Qué deportes te gustan? Justin, mm, hockey, baseball y fútbol son mis favoritos. ¿Ok? Are, porque estamos hablando de tres. O sea, es plural. Are my favorites. Lauren, wow. Eres realmente un buen atleta. You are a really, realmente, good athlete. When. ¿Se acuerdan qué significa when? Can you tell me the meaning of this word? Cuando. Cuando. Perfect. Thank you. Cuando eh, juegas todos estos deportes. Cuando. Justin le dice, oh, no, no juego estos deportes. I don't play these sports. I just watch them. Watch them. Solo los veo en la televisión. Ok. So we have done here. Estamos hablando siempre del simple present. Y entonces por, con este simple present, este tiempo gramatical, pues podemos crear muchas conversaciones como lo es este. Ok. Eh, Así que necesito, please, a Lauren and a Justin. Necesito un Lauren y, una, y un Justin. Let's see, who wants to be Lauren and Justin? Let's see. Um, bien, es su turno, es su turno de poder eh, tener esta conversación. ¿Quién quiere ser el primero? Who wants to be the first one? Lauren and Justin. Me. Perfect. Thank you. Stephanie, you will be Lauren. So, who else? Mm -hmm. ¿Quién más? Me, teacher. Thank you, Sandra. Okay, Sandra will be Justin. Ya, yeah. ¿quién está? Ya. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, I love sport. Really? What sport do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorite. Wow, you are really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play this sport. I just watch them on television. Thank you so much, Sandra and Stephanie. Give them a clap. Thank you. <clears throat> Ahora necesitamos otros dos. Teacher. Yeah, tell me. Uno, ¿Cómo se pronuncia atleta? Athlete. Athlete. Thank you. Athlete. You're welcome. Como, como la Z. Como Z. Athlete. Un, mordiéndose un poquito la lengua. Athlete. Ok. Um, a ver. Solo, miren que solo hay cuatro. So, we have the partners here, the couples. Tenemos las, las parejas acá. <laughs> uh -huh. So, Ivania and Fatima, could you please read this conversation? Okay. Okay, Fatima, you will be Lauren. And Ivania, are you there, Ivania? Hi, how are you? Oh, no me recuerdo si ella fue la que dijo que no estaba en casa. I don't remember. Yeah, sí fue ella. 
Ok, Fátima, yo voy a hacer Justin. Okay. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sport do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer I, are my favorites. Wow, you are really good athlete. When do you play all this? Ah, yeah, no, that's Athletes. yours. <laughs> when when do you play all this sport? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. Okay, thank you, Fatima. Perfect. We don't have Ivania right here. Solo escuchando. Perfect. Um, okay. Esta es, es una conversación, como les decía, que nos eh, ayuda a tener más información. For example, if I ask um, Sandra, what sports do you like, Sandra? Uh, basketball. Okay. Okay, perfect. You like basketball. You can say, I like basketball. Okay. Um, Stephanie, what sports do you like? I like soccer. Soccer, really? And, um, for example, ¿Quién me quiere responder esta pregunta? What do you do in your free time? ¿Cómo puedes? I play with my son. Excellent. You play with your son. Uh, or you can say, I play soccer. I play with my sister. And uh, that would be your answer. Esa sería su respuesta, right? Muy bien. Thank you, Stephanie. Eh, cuando nos preguntan, ¿verdad? Para... Para saber más información, what do you do in your free time? ¿Qué haces en tu tiempo libre? Ok, y pudiera ser también, I read books, leo libros, I watch eh, movies, right? Or I go running. Ok, excellent. Thank you. Y si nos preguntaran, when do you play all these sports? Ok, eso lo vamos a ver en unos... En unos minutitos. Bien, we have here sports names. Um, also, we have boxing, curling, archery, bowling, badminton. Eh, tennis and badminton are kind of similar. Son un poco eh, parecidos, pero si se fijan, la racket is different. The racket is different. A volleyball, a basketball, baseball, tennis, hockey, yoga, and gymnastics. <clears throat> or, for example, go biking. Go biking. Or to exercise. Hacer ejercicio o eh, un paseo en bicicleta. O ir a, a bicicletear, digámoslo así. Okay. Um, let's see. Tenemos la pregunta eh, que es que vimos la vez pasada. Do you remember how often? So, si les pregunto, how often do you go to the gym? ¿Cuál sería nuestra respuesta? Always, sometimes. I never. Okay, you never. Thank you. You never go to the gym. Um, or you sometimes, right? Or for example, if I say, how often um, do, you, do you play bowling? How often do you play bowling? Just for saying one thing, um, I always play bowling. Okay, bowling. Oh, how often do you play volleyball? Mm, I sometimes play volleyball. Okay. Perfect. Hockey or yoga. Excellent. Okay, so we have here 
our grammar. Tenemos acá nuestro grammar um, y tenemos el video para eso. Ok, so I want to play the video. Por acá, ok. So pay attention to this, please. Let's pay attention. Do you play sports or watch a lot of sports? Now I would like to show you how to form simple present WH questions. Let's start by analyzing the chart on the screen. Simple present WH questions. What sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. The goal of using WH questions is to obtain more detailed information from someone. In this case, we want to know everything about the person's response I play baseball. So we ask, what sports, who, where, how often, when, what time? In order to form simple present WH questions, we can follow this next formula. WH word plus do or does plus the subject plus the verb plus some kind of complement. Let's analyze a couple of questions now. In the example, where do you play? The WH word is where. Then we add the auxiliary verb do. After that, we add the subject you. Next, we add the verb play. Finally, we add the complement. In this case, we don't have a complement because from our previous question and answer, we understand that we're talking about baseball. There's one particular question that I would like to point out. Who do you play baseball with? This type of question may sound a little strange in some languages because of the location of the words who and with. So I would like to explain the following. We can ask this question in two ways. The most common in American English is, who do you play baseball with? The other way is by saying, with whom do you play baseball? It's not very common, but it's correct and formal to express yourself like this. So to understand the question, who do you play baseball with? Let me write a quick formula. Who plus do or does plus subject plus the verb plus noun plus with. As the example shows, we start our question with who. Next, we put an auxiliary verb do. After that, the subject you. Next, we need to add the verb and noun, play baseball. I would like to point out that sometimes it's not necessary to add a noun, just the verb so we can easily say, who do you play with, without adding baseball. Finally, we add with, and the question mark. Now it's your turn to practice making simple present WH questions. If possible, practice with the partner and practice asking and answering the questions. You may ask about sports or fun activities or whatever comes to your mind. The goal is to practice as much as possible. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. Ok, vimos en el video eh, las diferentes formas de preguntar con nuestra WH question. Ok, este es nuestro amigo fiel también. 
en este curso, WH question. For example, what significa que, who, quién, where, dónde, how often, qué tan frecuente, when, cuándo, and what time, a qué horas. Ok, so cada vez que, que veamos esta, estas eh, palabras es que nos están preguntando eso y tenemos que responder en base a eso. Ok, for example, if someone uh, asks me, eh, where, where do you play basketball? Yo no voy a responder con, I play basketball with my sister. Porque me está preguntando dónde, right? Entonces tengo que decirle el lugar. Ok, for example, here we have. What sports do you play? Tenemos nuestra WH, question, eh, WH word, what. En este caso especificamos sports. ¿Qué deportes do you play? Eh, podría ser también what. What do you play? Pero si ya están en el contexto de que ya están, ya se sabe que están hablando de deporte. Si no, se especifica. What sports do you play? We have do because we are using you, right? You, the subject, and the verb play. Nos, en este caso no tenemos complemento. Porque ya, ya con eso podemos entender la pregunta, right? What sports do you play? Y la respuesta es, I play hockey and baseball. ¿Ven? ¿Qué deportes juegas? Y le dice, yo juego hockey and ba eh, baseball. Ok, we have here, who do you play baseball with? Ok, this is an interesting question. Es una interesante pregunta porque eh, who significa quién. Entonces, en, en español tendemos a, a unir esas dos con quién, right? Pero en inglés tenemos esas dos palabras separadas. Who do you pl play baseball with? Y quiere decir con quién juegas baseball. Eh, entonces dice, I play with some friends. From work, we have a team. Yo juego con algunos amigos del trabajo. Tenemos un equipo, dice. Tenemos un equipo. Ok, where do you play? Eh, can someone please read this one? ¿Puede alguien leer esta? We play a hunter bar. Excellent, thank you. Eh, le pregunta, right? ¿Dónde? ¿Dónde juegas? Eh, en este caso, ¿dónde juegan? Porque you significa también eh, tú y ustedes. ¿Ok? So, en este caso, la respuesta es We play at Hunter Park. Eh, nosotros jugamos en el parque y el nombre, right? Hunter. ¿Ok? Tenemos acá, how often do you practice? ¿Qué tan seguido o qué tan frecuente practicas? ¿O practican? ¿Ok? Dice, we practice once or twice a week. Practicamos una o dos veces a la semana. Once or twice. Se puede decir también once, once a month. Una vez al mes. Eh, se puede decir twice a month. Twice a, a year, once a year, una vez al año, ok, twice a week. ¿Qué tan seguido practicas? Esa podría ser otra, otra eh, respuesta, no solamente always, sino acá ya tenemos otras. Ok, eh, when do you practice? Eh, ¿Cuándo practicas? ¿O cuándo practican? Nosotros practicamos los domingos, on Sundays. What time do you start? ¿A qué horas empiezan? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Empezamos a las 10 de la mañana en punto. 
Ajá, a las 10 de la mañana en punto. O'clock. Ok, si se fijan, este es nuestro esqueleto de la oración. Todas tienen WH word, luego do, or does, en este caso, eh, si llevamos eh, oraciones con she, he, and it, right? Our subject, where, when, do, you, and then the verb, play, go, uh, practice, start, and the complement, if we have a complement. <clears throat> Perfect. Um, question so far? ¿Alguna pregunta hasta aquí? Do you have a question? No question. <clears throat> Thank you, no questions. So let's pass to the next one. Okay. Bien, acá la he dejado un poco abajo. Déjenme la arreglo. Okay, we have here some examples. When do you play soccer? When do you play soccer? Eh, podemos responder. Cuando juegas fútbol. When do you play soccer? Okay, nos está preguntando a nosotros. Respondemos con I. I, uh, let's see here. I play soccer on Mondays, for example. I play soccer on Mondays. Juego fútbol los lunes. <clears throat> ¿Cuándo? Los lunes. No estaría bien. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Ok, no estaría bien. Si yo digo, I play soccer um, with my with my, my brother. Ok, porque nos está preguntando cuánto. Ok. How often do you practice skiing? ¿Qué tan seguido practicas skiing? ¿Cómo podríamos responder? Let's see. Can you give me an answer for this? How often do you practice skiing? I sometimes practice skiing. Okay. I sometimes practice skiing. Okay, you have the answer there. I sometimes practice skiing. Not always, right? No siempre, a veces. El 50% de las veces. A veces. Thank you so much. What sports do you like? I like soccer. I like perfect. I like soccer. Um, what else? What else? ¿Qué más? Baseball. Okay, baseball. And Let's see, let's put one of these one. Um, and tennis, it could be tennis, right? And tennis. What sports, que, que deportes te gustan? Me gusta el fútbol, el béisbol, and tennis. Tennis, I like tennis, baseball, and soccer. What time does she go swimming? ¿A qué horas ella va a nadar? We can say she goes she goes swimming. Uh -huh. Can you repeat it? At 8 a.m. At 8 a.m. Okay. At 8 a.m. She goes swimming at 8 a.m. Ok. Si se fijan acá, tenemos, do, eh, tenemos ES. Ok. Porque estamos dando una respuesta positiva y estamos eh, 
hablando con la tercera persona. She goes swimming at 8 a.m. Perfect, thank you so much. We have the next one here. What sports does he practice? ¿Cómo podría ser mi respuesta? Ah, recuerden que does porque estamos utilizando he. What sports does he practice? He practices. Practices. Tenemos tercera persona y en positivo. So we add an S here. He practices. Um, let's see, hockey. Carling. And um, let's see. And yoga. We can say yoga. And yoga. He practices hockey, curling, and yoga. Yeah, curling. Perfect. With, ah, okay. We have here with whom. En el video nos decían cómo podemos preguntar con quién juegas. Entonces tenemos dos maneras de decirlo. Tenemos eh, who, who do you go bike riding? Bike riding. This is a sport, a really good sport. I really like bike riding. So, Who do you go bike riding with? Acá. With. Esta oración eh, nos está preguntando con quién vamos a, al paseo en bicicleta. Ok, y tenemos la otra forma de decirlo. With whom do you go bike riding? Es lo mismo. Lo único que cambia es el orden y que agrega a who, agregamos la M. Este es un poco más formal, casi no se ocupa, es más común este, eh, pero puede hacer que lo lleguemos a ocupar en su momento o que nos pregunten. Entonces nosotros ya podemos responder. Who do you go bike riding with? ¿Cómo podría ser mi respuesta? Let's see. Ajá. With my riding, uh -huh. riding with my, thank you, with my sister. Okay, thank you. For example, um, Sandra, I think she's watching soccer, right? <laughs> Está viendo ahí el, el partido. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, Sandra. Are you are you watching the, the soccer match? El partido? Yes. <laughs> Do you like it? <laughs> okay, excellent. You like it. Perfect. Uh, Sandra likes uh, soccer, right? She likes soccer. Excellent. Okay. We have when often. How often, what sports, what time, what sports, and who. Y se me viene una a la mente. For example, en este caso, um, what sports do you prefer? What sports do you prefer? Y nosotros damos nuestra respuesta. I prefer, prefer uh, go swimming, for example, go swimming and volleyball. I prefer go swimming and volleyball. Entonces, si yo, por ejemplo, le pregunto um, a Ivania, what sports do you prefer, Ivania? I prefer, I prefer 
play soccer. Okay, perfect. You like it. Excellent. You like play soccer. I had a bad experience with soccer. I don't like it anymore. I like to watch soccer. But I prefer volleyball. I really like volleyball. So, excellent. Okay. Um, we have some other examples here. Let's see, let's see. Okay. WH word, do or does, subject, verb, and the complement and the equation mark, right? Because it's a it's a it's a question. Perfect. What do you do on Sundays? Esta ya no es relativamente al, al, a los deportes, sino más ya a, a la rutina, right? ¿Qué haces los domingos? ¿Qué haces los domingos? If, for example, we can say, I go. ¿Dónde está el cursor? Se me perdió. Okay, just give me a moment. Ay, no quiere aparecer. Okay, give me a moment, please. Here. No. <laughs> no cursor today. Let's see. <laughs> okay, let me see now. Here we have it. Okay. What do you do on Sundays? ¿Qué, hace, ¿Qué haces los domingos? What? ¿Qué do you? Eh, nuestro auxiliar, subject, verb, do on Sunday. Nosotros podemos responder, I go to the church. For example, voy a la iglesia. I go to the church. And I visit my family. Okay, I go to the church and I visit my family. Okay, um, Sandra Carolina, what do you do on Sundays, Sandra Carolina? I go to the supermarket. Perfect. You see, you go to the supermarket. Thank you. Excellent. How often do you do they make dinner? ¿Qué tan seguido hacen, co eh, hacen cocina? Okay, hacen cena. Or cook dinner. Make or cook dinner. Um, for example, Stephanie and Andreina. How often do they make dinner, Stephanie? I always. Okay, are you sure? Make dinner. <clears throat> uh, they, in this case, we will answer with. Oh, aha, aha. They okay. always. Okay. Make always dinner. make dinner. Thank you so much. Um, <clears throat> for example. Uh, what do you have for breakfast? ¿Qué tienes para el desayuno? ¿Quién quiere responder esto? Let's see. It could be pancakes, pupusas, cereal, right? ¿Qué comes para el desayuno? It could be. Who wants to answer that question? ¿Verdad que la respuesta tiene que ser I have o I eat? Yeah, I have. You can say I have. I have, uh -huh. I have. 
it's gay eggs with beans, beans. and bread. Bread. Excellent. You see, I have eggs with beans and bread. A Salvadorian breakfast, right? Un, un desayuno salvadoreño. Thank you so much, Ivania. Um, who wants to answer this? What does she do before work? ¿Qué hace ella antes del trabajo? Antes del trabajo. Tal vez ella va a bailar, you, you can say, right? <laughs> ella sale con sus amigos, ella eh, hace o cocina la cena o el desayuno, ella estudia. What can we say? She goes to the gym before oh, work. Thank you so much. You see, she goes to the gym before Work. What a healthy life, right? Qué vida tan saludable. Thank you. She goes to the gym before work. Where do you buy your shoes? ¿Dónde compras tus zapatos? Buy, comprar. Where? Who wants to answer this one? Where you can say part dos, right? MD te entiende. <laughs> eh, in el shopping center, you can say it, right? It's okay. Where do you buy your shoes? I buy my shoes. At MD, MD, for example. I buy my shoes at MD. Ok, si se fijan, bueno, ya hemos visto las oraciones en positivo del simple present, right? Entonces, eh, respondemos I con nuestra persona, si nos están preguntando en este caso, by con lo que nos están y con el verbo, la acción, I buy my shoes at MD. Excellent. Let's see, we have another here. When does she practice volleyball? Who wants to answer this? When does she practice a volleyball? She practice. Mm -hmm. When? On Sunday, on Saturday, on, on Thursday. When? She practice. ¿Cómo se dice? Practice. Uh -huh. Practices? Um, practices. Thank on you. Saturday. Okay. She practices volleyball, in este caso. Volleyball. Okay. Uh, on sun on on what Sundays right? Saturday. Ah, Saturday. Okay. On Saturday, you can say on Saturday or on Saturdays, porque son todos los sábados, right? Okay, volleyball. De aquí esta es la forma de escribirlo en español. But for English, we have volleyball. Okay. On Saturdays or on Saturday. Okay, we have the last one. What do you, do we have the appoint? What time? I'm sorry. What time do we have the an appointment? A qué horas tenemos? ¿A qué horas do we tenemos have, right? La reunión, oh, la, la cita, I'm sorry, la cita. La cita esta sería cita de doctor, eh, cita con el abogado, it could be, because cita de, de amor eh, sería date, de romance, right? Date, pero cita de formalidad, appointment. 
date is la cita de amor. Okay. What time do we have the appointment? We have at 10 o'clock. Okay, thank you. We have... Um, you can say it. We have it. Porque estamos hablando de eso. Tenemos eso. La tenemos, right? Or... <clears throat> We have the appointment at 10 o'clock, you said, right? Okay, 10 o'clock. <clears throat> Excellent. We have the appointment at 10 o'clock. What, how often, what, what again, where, when, and what time? Y acá, en esta, estudiamos who do you go bike riding with. with. Ok, excellent. We have here some other examples. Tenemos otras eh, actividades here. <clears throat> For example, do the housework. Hacer el que hacer en la casa. You are doing the housework. And the homework, la tarea. Do the homework. Okay, don't forget do the homework of the platform. No se olviden de hacer la tarea de la plataforma, right? Take a shower or routines. Take a shower, bañarse. You take a shower in the morning, every morning. Um, wash the car. Wash. You wash the car. He washes the car. <clears throat> Go running. Go running. Ir a correr. Ir a correr. He goes running to the park, for example. Live. Uh, I'm sorry. Live with. Live with. Vivir con. Okay, you can say live. Pero puse with también para, para que pudiéramos hacer la oración con quien vives. Por ejemplo, right? Live. Watch a movie. Ver una película. Este es vivir con y este ver una película. Ver una película. Ok. So, um, I want you to practice this. Voy a darles... Eh, unos minutitos para que puedan hacer estas oraciones. Ok, si tienen alguna pregunta, díganme, eh, pregúntenme. Y vamos, o sea, ustedes lo van a formular ya sea con what, ya sea con with, ok, ya sea con who. Ok, por ejemplo, hagamos la primera. ¿Quién me podría decir la primera? Por ejemplo, do the housework. Do you, what do you, what do you do free time? Okay, what do you do? <clears throat> do you, in your free time, thank you so much. And you can say, I do the housework, right? I do the housework. It's up to you, it depende de ustedes, si lo quieren de hacer de esa manera. Ok, another example, it would be, um, con, con la misma, right? What time do you do the housework? ¿A qué horas haces los quehaceres? It could be another, right? Y podemos responder, I do the, I do the housework at 8 a.m., at 10 a.m., at 10 o'clock, right? Ok. Pueden hacer, pueden escoger. Si gustan, hagan tres. Tres. Ok, tres. 
a su creatividad. Yo voy a dejar ahí que ustedes se pongan creativos. Creativas. Ok. I will be here if you have an answer, eh, equation.
Okay, time is over. Perfect. We have, I think we have done the, the sentences, right? The equations. So we have equations there. Tenemos preguntas ahí. Así que ahora vamos a tratar de practicar eh, nuestras habilidades. Por ejemplo, Ivania va a elegir a una compañera y le va a preguntar a ella. Y ella tiene que responder en el momento, right? Eh, sin pensar mucho. Porque a veces así no, no sucede. Entonces, con lo que ya hemos estado practicando, así que Ivania elija a la que la esté viendo. <ríe> no, eh, choose where, ¿ok? Eh, elija quien sea. Y hágale la pregunta y esa persona va a responder lo que usted le pregunte. Stephanie. Ok. Where do you wash the car? I go wash the car at car wash. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you, Stephanie. I go to wash the car at the car wash, right? Thank you so much. Ahora, Stephanie, eh, you can choose someone else. Puedes elegir a alguien más. Okay. A Sandra. Okay. With whom do you live? Okay. Eh, Sandra. Okay. No, I yeah. live with my mom. Thank you so much, Sandra. You see, now you choose someone else. Uh, Fatima. Okay. What time do you do the homework? Uh, I do the homework at 9.30 p.m. Thank you so much. Excellent. Now you, Fatima. Ask someone else. Okay. What time do you uh, take a shower? Uh -huh. ¿A quién? ¿A quién va dirigida la pregunta? Eh, Ivania. Ok. What time do you uh, take a shower? I take a shower every day. Ok. Perfect. Um, en este caso, la pregunta es what time? Ok, what time? So, you have to answer with uh, an hour. Eh, con una hora. Ok, when I, you... Ok. Uh -huh. I take a shower at 6 a.m. Ok, you see. Thank you so much, Ivania. Excellent. Thank you, you all. Perfect. Eh, qué bueno, me alegra mucho que eh, esté quedando, pues, claro el tema, right? Y que ustedes, pues, en el momento, porque a veces en el momento se, se pregunta algo y ahora nosotros ya sabemos cómo responderlo. Ok, eh, creo que a, Fa a Fátima le preguntaron, yes, right? Le sí. Yes, teacher. Ok, perfect. Ok, so... Time is almost over. Solamente recordarles hacer la, los ejercicios de la plataforma, llevarlo puntual para que no se siga acumulando, no se acumule eh, las, las asignaciones. Y de igual forma, si ustedes tienen alguna pregunta, yo puedo responderles, yo puedo ayudarles en, en privado. Si ustedes gustan escribirme en, en WhatsApp, ahí está mi número para yo poderles guiar en algo que ustedes tengan duda, no duden en preguntarme. Este, a la hora que sea yo, si puedo en el momento, yo les respondo en el momento. Ok, so, uh, do you have a question so far? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? No. No. No, thank you so much. Ok, so, enjoy, enjoy your, your weekend. Bye-bye. See ya next week.
Okay, good night. Bye-bye. Good, good night. Rest a lot. Enjoy your weekend. Bye-bye.